So today we're heading off to the Green Bay Card Show. Really excited to make my first kind of card show vlog and show you guys how I look for cards to grade um, and just find cards to my collection, that sort of thing. So it's a 6 a.m. beautiful Wisconsin morning. We have to drive up to Wausau to go meet my buddy Andrew. So we're gonna carpool up there. Um, so first I gotta let the dog out and then we're gonna head out and hit the road. <music> Hi, Jack. Can you say hi to your fans? Can you say good morning? Lay down. Roll over. Roll over. Good boy. All right, have a good day. I'll see you later. So I'm very excited for this show. I just want to give a heads up. It's about 120 tables, if I remember right. Matt, who runs it, does an amazing job of getting people in the door and good dealers. So I have set up here in the past, and the drawback I always felt was like it was such a missed opportunity to not have the time to walk around. Um, so genuinely just really excited to go today walk around and see if we can make some deals. So for those of you that set up as a dealer, you know it adds a lot of pressure. There's a lot of work to prepare. Um, this is gonna be pretty refreshing to just hop in the car. You know, I brought a couple cards to trade and then we just go up there and see what we find. So I'm really excited, it should be a good Saturday. So we are gonna meet my buddy Andrew, like I said up there. He's like the nicest um, Wisconsin guy you'll ever meet. Um, so if you see him at a show, definitely say hi. I did bring him some cards to give because I felt like there was a decent chance if I offered him gas money, he would say no. Um, so just bought a few re pack of refractors. You got Antonio Freeman, uh, a few other players here, just some ones I got in recently. And then I did bring a Tory Holt. So this is a gold X fractor. So he's been meaning to send out his first order. I think this is a really nice card for him and his first order to send out. So yeah, let's head up to Wausau. And again, really looking forward to the show and having you guys with me. All right, so we made it to Wausau. Met my buddy, Andrew. goes by St. Croix Cards on Instagram. We're on our way to Green Bay. We have about a two hour drive ahead of us. Um, I'll show you some scenery. It's looking beautiful here in Wisconsin today. <music> So I have a couple of goals for the show today. I want to set my expectations low. Um, I'd like to find at least, let's say three cards for grading and show you guys how I find those. Um, I do want to find one card for the collection. If we can find that, that'd be great. And then the other thing is I would love to find a couple of cards that uh, could serve as good inventory. So maybe buy at a decent price and then some that I can bring to card shows or sell online, that sort of thing. Uh, so we'll see, hopefully we get some good clips of it. Andrew, what's your goal for today? Cards. Cards. Just to find cards. Just soccer find cards. cards. Okay. Soccer cards. Soccer cards. So yeah. it's always a little tricky in Wisconsin, like Andrew said, with soccer cards, but we have a good a lot of football always and basketball. So I'll help him look for soccer. That's the key thing. We gotta keep an eye out. So I did just want to show off the cards I brought to trade. We'll see if we use any of them. Um, I do like trading when possible. It's nice to give up cards instead of cash sometimes. So here's the cards we brought. So we got our whole little box of cards. We got a far of hot hands ten, Brady Copper Prism ten. We got a Ken Griffey Gold X Fractor, Stafford Gold Refractor. I try to bring like a variety of prices. So these are all pretty high, but I have more that are in the $100 range in here. This one's kind of crazy. I've had this one for a little while. Aaron Rodgers Crack Dice, good local guys. So Giannis, jersey numbered out of 50. Clay Matthews Rookie, you don't see this every day. Clay Matthews Gold, Brady out of 50, PSA 10. Peyton, this is a duplicate for me, Gold 10. Russell Wilson out of 15, Wisconsin guy. Randy Moss, Pop 1, uh, PSA 10 X-Fractor. We got two autos, so we got a Rogers auto, then a pretty cool Kobe number two of two auto. So we'll see, maybe we can trade some of these cards today. So the Green Bay show has a bunch of tables in the outside of the main room, and then they do have a big main room. So we got here about nine o'clock right as it opened, um, which was really good timing, because you'll see it got crazy busy later on. Um, so just giving you a scope of the venue and what it looked like. So right away, I stopped by my buddy Kyle's table. He always has really interesting stuff. Um, so you see here has some jumbo Steelers cards. I thought these were really cool looking. Didn't end up grabbing them, but just cool stuff you don't see every day. And then right as I was walking by, I did see a Connor McDavid insert here for six bucks. So I ended up grabbing that for five from Kyle. So one of the reasons I wanted to get this show early, my buddy Chris was set up. He always has awesome stuff. Seems like we make a trade at every single show. 
One of the cards that really stood out to me was this Babe Ruth hand cut card. Had never seen it, didn't pick it up, but just a cool one. I've had some fun buying vintage from Chris, so I don't deal in it often, but he always has great cards, so I did have an interest in these two right away. Chris is always super easy to work with, so we made a nice trade. I gave up the Barry Bonds, and then I got the two cards I wanted, and we were off a little bit on price, so he also threw in a Tom Brady for me. So just made a really cool deal on a Charles Woodson Atomic Refractor rookie, thanks to my buddy Chris here. Hi Chris, so if you see Chris at a show, you gotta stop by his table. Just awesome, awesome stuff. Similar stuff to what I have, and then we trade a lot. So I did trade some cards and cash for this card. So very excited, thanks Chris. Here's a better look at that Woodson. I am so excited to add this card to my collection. This was a huge pickup today. This is my buddy Jesse's table. He had a ton of awesome Packer and Badger stuff. So I did pick up a couple Badger autographs from basketball players that I enjoy. And at this table, I dug through all the different players they had. I actually had a lot of really cool cards. They seem to be in good condition. So these will be good grading candidates. It was now about 11 and the show was absolutely packed, which is a great sign for the hobby here in Wisconsin. Next, I stopped by this booth. I had seen these guys set up before. They actually have a pretty cool product. So they slide in cards and kind of for a display or at card shows. Very neat. At the next booth, I met Tim who runs a shop in New Franken, Wisconsin. He had really neat cards. Did find a Drew Brees refractor for my collection. So I'm very excited about that. Super fair price. And then on my way out, I met a vintage dealer named Greg. He was awesome. I kept an eye out and I did actually pick up three cards from him. So just some awesome older stuff, good inventory, good stuff to bring to a show that I usually don't have with me. All right, so it's about 12 o'clock. We're at the show for three hours. It was a lot of fun. Um, hopefully you guys saw from the video. I think I got some good clips. So I got quite a few different cards. I hit all my goals. So I found two cards for my collection, which I'll show you in a second. I did get a couple of vintage cards that I'll probably use um, just for a different kind of inventory for online or for at card shows. Just um, seems like people like to trade for these older Packer stuff around here. So I was happy to pick some of that stuff up. Um, and then I did find some cards to grade. Didn't have a ton of luck. I mean, you'll see it was maybe maybe 10 cards, but it's something guys. And I'm happy with the big cards for my collection, which I'll show you right now. All right, so yeah, like you should have seen, so I did pick up a Drew Brees Topps Racine Refractor. Price seemed like a no-brainer. These are out of 349. Um, picked this up, probably hold on to it for a while if it, um, you know, if I end up getting more Brees cards and this kind of sits on the edge of my collection, I'll probably end up selling it, but good one to have for now. And then I did pick up this absolute monster. So this card, we had a heck of a time finding sale prices for is really, actually fun making a deal with Chris because he's super fair. Um, so I got to trade a bunch of cards in and then give up a, a bunch of money too, of course. But, but yeah, just awesome, awesome card that you do not see every day. These are out of 100. There's a lot of backdoor copies, but this one does have the serial number and graded over five years ago. Um, so this will be an awesome card for my collection. The other thing with the Woodson trade that was really nice is, again, like I mentioned, able to give up cards that I graded myself. You know, you buy raw, you grade. You're increasing the value yourself and then Chris himself who I traded with, these are cards for his collection or some cards that he'll also throw out and probably have good luck selling at shows. So I think our big takeaway today was I was glad that I brought 20 cards, pretty specific cards and not like a whole showcase of, you know, 100 cards for people to dig through. I was just super specific. These are the 20 cards I brought. Are you looking for anything? Um, in particular, is anything stand out you want to trade and maybe we can work something out? ended up working out again. I think I traded like six or seven of the cards that I did bring today. Um, so yeah, it was a lot of fun. And I would say in general, the show was like just crazy busy. It was packed, absolutely packed. Um, and we'll see, what does Andrew think? How was the show? Show was decent. Not a whole lot of soccer cards in Wisconsin, to be expected. But I did pick up some Marvel cards for my son. So it's a win for dad. <laughs> yeah, so as always, Wisconsin's hard for soccer. Um, but do look at Andrew on Slab Socks FC. I'll link their account below. So he makes videos for them with um, soccer grading, soccer prices, and just players in general. Um, so yeah, he does an awesome job with those videos. And he's a teacher, so of course he's going to make awesome videos. All right, guys, made it back home. Just a quick little recap of what we picked up today. Um, so I had a lot of fun. I grabbed a couple of Badger autos. So these are players that actually played at the school and I watched while I was in college. Um, so like Brad Davison, if you're familiar, he was there for all four years. I was in school as a freshman. I was a freshman. So pretty cool stuff. Um, did pick up this Johnny Davis, really nice looking on card auto. He's actually playing kind of decent. Um, so I got a good deal on those. My friend Jesse gave me a nice price. Picked up this McDavid. I think you saw from the video, just nice, um, you know, popped out at me. Nice insert. I think fairly short printed and McDavid, you can't go wrong. So pick that up for five bucks. Um, and then the table that had cards sorted by player. I dug through and found actually some decent stuff for Gronk. So this is the 
short print, um, what do you call it? Alternate, alternate version card, so that Gronk spike, pretty sweet. Um, then a nice Gronk red here. All of these I'm gonna look at for grading, of course. Um, then we have a Kelsey refractor and X fractor for like three and four bucks. I mean, you just can't go wrong with this stuff. Kelsey does not have a ton of refractors and they're tough to find. Picked up a nice um, short print Brady for out of Bowman. And there's a random, I mean, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this one. I, I grabbed it anyway, it was like three bucks. And then made a big trade that I'm pretty sure you saw. I will show some of that, um, those cards, I'll sort them out quick. So we did get the Tom Brady and um, the Jack Lambert and Johnny Unitas auto. So I've done pretty well with this vintage, whether it's setting out at my table or selling online. Um, and Chris that I worked with on this trade and then the Charles Woodson that you'll see in a second, I already kind of showed you. He's just awesome to work with. So whenever I find cards that I feel like are up his alley, I'll bring them. I like to trade with him. He's an awesome dude. So that's been um, pretty nice to work with him. Picked up some vintage vintage uh, Packers. These are, again, same idea. Really strong inventory. New guy I've never met before. Um, was super fair. I think I picked up the three of these and offered a grand. Um, we sell at like ten fifty or something. So nice price here. So just a star rookie, a Don Hudson. This is the only card. Hall of Famer for the Packers. Um, then Sammy Baugh, not obviously a Packer, but uh, nice looking cards that, again, will serve as good inventory and a little variety. Someone walking the show caught me and said, hey, I might have some cards you're interested in. So I, I dug through. I did find this Brady. I don't know. I think I got it for like 50 or 60. Um, just nice card I've never seen before. So just decent inventory, something to pick up. And then finally, the two cards, again, I've already showed a little bit, but the nice Drew Brees refractor. So this is really nice. This will go in my collection. Um, and then if it exits the top 10 for Breeze, I've mentioned this before, I do like top 10 for every player I collect ex except for Peyton. This one I probably will end up selling, but good to keep for now. And then the huge, huge pickup of the day. So it's the Charles Woodson Atomic Refractor. So Chris is awesome because we made that other trade. And then he said, I brought one card you might be interested in. And when he says something like that, I know something awesome is coming. Um, so he pulled out again, the Charles Woodson Rookie Atomic here. And I just about, you know, I dropped it. I was like, wow, um, yeah, I'm pretty interested. So then we dug through back through my box. He found four more cards he was interested in trading for. I think we did half trade and then half cash, maybe a little more cash. I can't remember exactly. So if you're familiar with this set or this parallel, um, these are extremely, extremely hard to find. We had a heck of a time, um, you know, kind of figuring out a gauge of price for this. Again, no prior sales. We couldn't find anything. So I'm pumped about this one. I'm going to put it in my collection. I'm tempted to snap this and send it to PSA, but I don't know if I have the balls. We'll see. Um, but again, just really, really nice card. The first real Woodson card that I'm going to be keeping in my collection. Um, I can't complain. This is awesome. And um, again, just a huge shout out for Chris giving me the opportunity to pick this up. I respect the fact that like he wanted to, you know, trade it to me or sell it to me. I think probably hopefully knowing that I would be interested in keeping it versus just throwing it out on the table and then having somebody buy and then you know, resell it and make more money. I don't think this is a card that should um, have that happen to it, right? It deserves being a collection. So yeah, just awesome show overall. It was a big success when it comes to cards. So thanks for tuning in, guys. I hope you enjoyed the little bit of a different kind of video. Um, if you enjoyed, throw a subscription below, throw a like, I'd really appreciate it. Love to hear you in the comments as well. And again, thank you for all the support.